Hey, what's up, guys? I'm your host, Tyler, and this is King of the Hill. Hey, guys, how y'all doing today? Tyler here, and welcome back to another episode of King of the Hill. And this is our first actual King of the Hill series, or my first in a long ass time coming back into this so we're gonna have a bit of fun as expected i have to start at the very bottom that's what happens when you join you get put at the very bottom of the ranking so i think i'm either rank 89th or 90th i think and don't quote me on that actually it doesn't matter but uh so then that makes me uh i think that makes me a peasant uh, that's what the lowest people are. And if you're a peasant, you can challenge people up to 20 ranks ahead of you. And that's what I'm doing here, challenging Franco10, who is rank uh, 73rd, I think. Sounds about right. He's rank 73rd. And, yeah, he's within that range. So the idea is, if I beat him in a series of five, I take 73rd place, and he gets moved down a spot along with a bunch of other people. So now here we are on the Hydro Dam, where, of course, I'm using my signature Dartling strategy that I'm not going to give up for a long time. I'll probably switch strategies eventually, but... Eh... Eventually. A emphasis on that. I'm, you know, of course, trying the best I can to put a lot of pressure on Franco here. Gotta send uh, some blues and pinks because he is not upgrading th to a third tier ninja, which means I can continue to get some lives on him. I want to knock him down as many lives as possible because I'm probably going to want to rush him in some way eventually. And that is the plan, at least. Ah, good water. But uh, yeah, as long as I get him down to a few lives, it'll be a lot easier to kill him with, with Rush. He finally got his third tier ninja now, just in time for me sending Black Balloons. I guess he's holding that off pretty decently, too. He's got burning stuff for his mortar. And it seems I actually have a bit less defense than he does. I'm not quite sure the exact amounts. He actually might have it cheaper. Don't know. And don't care. So now it's time to start my 0-0 uh, zero, zero bomb, because I'm definitely going to need that for round 8. Uh, that way, you know, kind of... Cluster bombs and all that garbage. It's it's good stuff. Tried for some uh, regrow uh, whites. He's going for some too. I leaked a few lives there. Finally got it up. Now I'm leaking slightly less. He leaked a bit too. Uh, he's actually leaking a lot more than I was. I'm at 143 lives. He's at 99. So that's pretty good. A third of the way there. Just nine nine more lives and he's dead. Forced him by a glaive ricochet too. So make him spend that money. Trying to see if I can get him in any other way. But really doesn't look like it. So I don't know if you know what I'm trying to do right about now with the uh, boomerang in hand. I'm trying to place it on this pedestal. And you see, while I'm placing it, I realized well, there, there was like a spot I could use for like half a second. But there's kind of an issue because I'm on high quality. Do, do you guys realize how bad that is? I'm on high quality and that's awful and that just caused me to lose a bunch of lives because I cannot fit this freaking boomerang there. I need it there to be able to defend regen rushes. Like, if we send a regrow rainbow rush right now, I would be dead, without a doubt, because I cannot fit this freaking uh, boomerang there. You see, I wanted to take this time to rush him, but now I feel it's more important to get the boomerang there and realize my window is gone. He's pretty much got his defense up and ready, so I can't exactly rush him. And anyway, he'll just defend pretty easily. He's going for a little small rush on me. He's got some uh, regrow rainbows and ceramics. That was all taken down pretty decently. Uh, I think I lost like two lives or so. Not too bad. Got my three dartlings. That worked out okay. But I finally fit the boomerang on. But that is just... That's really not good. Because, well, high quality sucks. And I have to remember to change it for next game. But I totally missed a window of opportunity. Just completely screwed me up mid-game. So I don't even know what I'm going to do for late game. Because, I mean, it's a lot harder to earn money now. I can't really afford anything good. So if he rushes me, I'd probably be dead. But we'll see how that goes. He's got balloon jitsu up too, so I can't really send him ceramics. I don't know if I sent him ceramics. I wasn't paying attention and I kind of forgot. So just going to leave it at that. He has his three uh, two zero farms right now. So that's working out decently. I have $8,500. Actually, it's not too bad because I could totally afford a uh, Hydro Rock Pods right now, but clearly I'm not getting the Hydro Rock Pods. Instead, I'm going for a Laser Cannon, which is probably not my best, best decision as it cost me to lose. I think Hydro Rock Pods would have been a bit better. I think. Yeah, it definitely would have been. So now I'm down 0-1. 
Oh boy, losing a Hydra Dam is never good because you have to pick the next map. And picking, for me, picking a map is kind of tough because I don't really have a select map I would like to pick. I mean, Yin Yang, I guess, but uh, that one's still a bit iffy as I lost to the to Spelling Police in the last game. It was like round, round 32, 33, sometime around then. So yeah, that kind of hurts. So now here we are. Since I chose this, I just got to hold No Lives Lost and hope that he loses some lives eventually. But there's no guarantees, because it has gotten easier and easier to defend this uh, map early game, if I say so. I mean, the only real problems are when the Moabs start, you know, getting strong after round 30, and maybe, maybe super early game, like with pinks and stuff, but it's really not too hard to do with boats either. I'm trying to put some pressure on it with the pinks. Doesn't seem like he's having any success. He's got a third boat up now. Seems to be fine, even though I'm just going to continue to mix them in hopes that something goes right, but it looks like Mr. Franco 10 is handling them all right. So what are we going to expect from this, uh, I don't know, series, I guess, King of Hill? Also sending blacks now. I mean, I'm going to upload every single series I play, uh, even if it is garbage series. Like, there is one I'm going to upload soon that is just, it was basically a waste of time, not going to lie. Not going to... Not trying to sound mean or anything, but the series was just a big waste of time. Uh, so I guess they'll be up, you know, it'll be a short episode or whatever. Anyways, Franco's just got a ring of fire. Hopefully he might leak some, I don't know. And he leaked two lives! Hooray! Finally! That's good. Causing him to leak a couple lives here. That's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, a few more. Is that 144. So that is good news for us because we are up on lives on this map now. And if, as long as I can keep this momentum and don't lose any more lives, I should be fine, right? Right? I guess we'll see. But uh, yeah, with uh, King of the Hill, it does give a lot of people to challenge me to a best of five series. Of course, they won't accept every single challenge because I won't have time for it. And plus, I gotta focus on video making stuff too. Here's some, some region leads and uh, yellow rush. Uh, some camos afterwards would have worked really well because I decided to uh, re move my more for that. It looked like it almost lost some lives. It was really close. I'm surprised I didn't leak any. But uh, yeah, round 14. I'm gonna send him some ceramics because it doesn't look like he has that strong a ceramic deed. But who knows? Maybe it's okay. Uh, I'm getting my own boat now, too. It looks like he might have lost some. Uh, I guess not. Those three ninjas did him pretty good. Good job. Good job. But, yeah, it does give er er anyone within range, of course, the opportunity to challenge me. And, of course, this YouTuber, I'm probably going to get a bunch of challenges. So, first of all, I do want to say only challenge, like, you know, if you, you know, practice or you think you'd be good enough because as of... You know, of course, when I'm at the bottom like this, anyone can just join and challenge me right away. It's like, I, I'm i not allowed to decline it, but I can delay it, and I may delay it if I just sense you're just trying to get into a video. That's really all I have to say about that. I, I, don't, I don't know where I was going, but we are at round 18 right now. 19. Round 19. <sighs> Excuse me. And this is this is kind of a little scary, because Moab rushes could be a bit um, worrisome. If I say so myself, got to get up a bunch of boats for those. I'm strong. And, yeah, just boats on strong. That's, that's the way to go, I guess. And, of course, now ninjas, too. Got to get some of each. Uh, the cam balloons might hurt a bit here. Uh, if they hit the mortar at the wrong time, might leak. Ooh, that was close. Uh, caught by boat at the end. Still haven't lost any lives yet, which is great. I have six lives on Mr. Frankel here. Uh, unfortunately, he probably has a lot more income than me, but it's hard to say exactly because I'm busy... Uh, buying a lot of boats. He has not bought even close to the amount of boats that I have. So, well, I mean, I guess it's close. Oh, he loses a few more lives. He was not as prepared for this mod. He needs to get that second texture up to ring a fire, and so he can be safe. Uh, I'm already up on lives, so this isn't as much big deal to me, but it does give me a bit more of a safety cushion, because I might accidentally leak 10 or 11 lives all of a sudden, and then I'd be down, and then I'd have to start rushing him. Because right now, I have the mentality that I'm probably not going to get rushed until... Super late, and then hopefully I can defend there, but I don't know. Y you never know. Ah, uh, this water's good. So, time to get up a second tag shitter. Those are obviously very, very good. I want to get a second ring of fire up so I can defeat ceramics a lot easily, more easily. I should get a third one up. I'm thinking, eh, I'll be fine, right? Oh, yep. That's looking really good for me right now. There's a lot of balloons coming in, and it looks like I have less lives than Franco right now. What are we at? 110. 
to his 125. He lost a couple lives there too, but not as many as I did. He has three balloon jitsus. He's playing a lot more safe now because he knows he's up on lives, and I have to rush sometimes then. Don't forget it ends at round 40, so I have to make sure I would have to kill him before then. That would be great. And the only way to really kill someone with a rush at this point, the trusty old ZOMG rush. Because BFBs get taken down by boats, and Moabs will probably just get mortar stalled to death. So really, you have to go with the ZOMG rush, considering the main ZOMG bopping power is uh, ninjas. So, yeah, hopefully that's the way to go. Round 31, bunch of stuff here. And usually people rush around, round, I don't know, 35, 34, 36, time, sometime around there. But I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm sending you to ZOMG right now. Right now. Why, you may ask? Well, the main reason is that unexpected. And also, you may remember that in the uh, last episode, I lost to TSP around round 32 and 33. So I was thinking that the ZOMGs would distract the ninjas from the crazy Moab rushes and stuff that are happening, and that's what would kill them. But sadly, that does not seem to be uh, the case at all, I don't think. I'm going to have to do something real quick, because I'm losing like crazy bunch of balloons going through. I should sell my ninjas and get a mortar stall right about now, but it looks like I'm going to lose the game. Bunch of lives gone, and that's all lost. Isn't that crazy? Yin Yang lost about the same time it did last episode. Ah, boy. Hate when that happens, but it does. So the sad thing now is that I'm down 2-0 to zero in this, uh, Best of five series. If, uh, well, if I, uh, if I lose this game or any future games in this series, that's over. Franco wins, and he gets, like, a badge or something. If you defend against someone successfully, you get a badge, which can be used for buying various uh, things in King of the Hill. So, yeah, I basically have to make a super comeback here in order to win. I have to win three games in a row. Can we do it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Probably going to fall short in my face. Oh, but we're up already. Oh, boy. But it doesn't matter because this is a super not late game map. This is the A game where lives only matter in slowly ticking someone down to zero. You're not going to get to round 40 in this map. That is guaranteed. But some can try. A lot of people have uh, struggles with round 15 rushes like uh, regrow leads into regrow ceramics and even ceramics in general. So I'm trying to work on a strategy that doesn't involve farms, which I can defeat it with. As you can see in my loadout, Ninja Attack Shooter, Dart Monkey, which, I mean, you can't see it right now, and then farms, of course. There is there is hope. That's all I have to say. You'll have to see how the strategy turns out. I won't spoil it or anything, and I also don't want to, like, reveal too many of its secrets because, well, I may have to play other people with it. And my opponents will definitely have a huge advantage over me with these videos. But yeah, it's round four, and I don't think Franco has sent a single balloon at all. He's got up his farm, he's using that for income, and I'm just using my balloons as harassment. I'm doing a lot of crazy layering here, sending two reds, five blues, and three pinks. That way we'll have like a ton of balloons at the texture at the same time, so it just can't pop all of them. And the ninja in the back gets overwhelmed, and he loses lives slowly. Now he's got that mortar up. That'll help with a lot of group top and power, and probably cause him to leak less. But it is hard to say. Hard to say indeed. You're getting up my uh, own second tax share in case he decides to rush me. But really, there's no sign of him, him sending any balloons at all. He's more focused on getting that mortar up the birdie stuff. And tax share ninja combination seems to work out a bit better. I think he's still leaking a little bit, but it's hard to say. I mean, that might just be my screen showing that he's leaking. So I'm trying to layer some greens with blacks here. Because if the mortar pops the blacks, or pops the greens, they'll morph into blues, which the blacks can layer with a bit better. And that seems to be working, although I think that's just the natural balloons hurting them. Franco finally gets up a third tier ninja, which will be a lot safer with. And now i got to focus on my uh, own defense, getting up a ring of fire, getting that right about now. 4-1, ring of fire, and I should be safe against most things. If he says rush me to save regrow whites, I would have to get a ninja in front. To uh, do better defending. And now I'm doing some regrow blacks and yellow shit right here. You gotta get some lives on him. And it looks like it's being successful. Uh, down to, what is that? 73 lives. Awesome. We are over halfway there. And that is good. Like, if I decide to try to get him with the regrow rainbow rush, I would have to only get him down. 
uh, kill him with 73 lives as opposed to 150. So a lot better right now. I'm sitting comfortable at 150, so that's good. Oh, here comes some uh, regrow lives from uh, Franco, but they do not seem to be working out that well at all. Good news for me. I'm shaking right now, though, because I, I get to realize, like, I can't lose here. Because if I do lose, it'd be bad. And what I'm doing right now, doing a bit more uh, Rainbow Rush defense. The Ring of Fire does technically get overwhelmed by rainbows ever so slightly. Sometimes a ninja in the back is enough to clear it up. But I'm having a dart re monkey ready to buy, just in case. I could get the Juggernaut, and that would definitely be enough popping power to deal with any Rieger Rainbow Rush. But thankfully, it doesn't look like he's rushing me. He is down alive, so he does have to rush me eventually. Otherwise, I could hopefully coast around 40. Although, I have a feeling I'd probably lose to ZMGs. Actually, I don't know at this point. I mean, Ninja plus Super Funky Man Club? I don't know. That'd be pretty decent. Uh, hard to say, though. Uh, so, he's got a few uh, ninjas and tax shooter and more ninjas. That seems to be working out. He has a decent farm economy, too. I'm sitting here with my juggernauts. I'm getting ready to uh, get some just in case he wants to rush me. But I'm like, maybe I'll try to kill him now. I can just send some regular ceramics. That's all I need. Nothing too special. Just regular ceramics. And it actually looks like it's costing him some lives. He's going down. And the ninja in the back is getting overwhelmed. Even though it's just ceramic remains. And we got him. There we go. Round 16. Victory with just regular ceramics. Didn't even need to be regrow. Regrow probably would have killed him faster. But I, I guess doesn't matter at this point. So now, game four. Still down 2-1, to one, So, but Franco chooses map because he lost the last game. And we're kind of there, except he chose Pyramid. And I don't really know what I'm doing on Pyramid, to be honest. So I'm thinking about this. I'm like, okay, what kind of strategy do you want to do? I'm probably going to do this. I know a lot of people go Ninja, Bomb, Mortar, and Farm on this map. So instead of Farm, I'm going to bring Spike Factory. Just because that's actually a really good late game tower, I could see myself defeating ZOMG rushes with that, if he decides to do that sort of thing. But we have to get to that light first, and of course we'd have to be up on lives too. Because if we have to rush him and he has farms, that's not good news. Because with farms, you can not only defend my rushes, but also send a rush to me at the same time. And I would be screwed, because I'd have zero income, and he'd have his uh, fourth tier banana farms going crazy. And uh, it's getting a little bit scary. Got to put the bomb on first. Balloon's getting far. Whew. Just got the cluster bombs in time. Scary close, actually. They almost leaked. It would have been pretty bad if they did. Thankfully, not, though. So I got that. He's got his uh, bomb tower ninja. And I have just one queue of red balloons because I want to send pinks right away. See if I get get some lives on him. Maybe if I'm lucky, those balloons that uh, said they went through there actually went through. But it doesn't quite look like it i'm gonna keep trying anyways you know maybe just giving up about now it's like oh, okay his defense is good enough oh but all of a sudden out of nowhere actually he just randomly loses two lives that's it two lives I didn't see any leak on my screen but i guess on his screen he actually leaked two lives so that is just upsetting for a guy Maybe it has something to do with the ninja spots or, well, how much was harassed. He's going farms now. He's just stopped sending me balloons completely. If you are going farms, you should definitely keep harassing your opponent. Try to get them down on lives if possible. Because the ideal situation is to be up on lives and to have farms. I'm going to continue with the harassment. Try to widen my gap because I don't want to be a... Uh... Because I definitely want to be rushed. I don't want to be down on lives. Uh, layering reds and blacks, and that seems to kind of work as well. Got three more lives on him. Forced him by three total 0, zero ninjas, and that's working out pretty decently for me. Uh, I don't think he's going to leak much more. Natural balloons aren't really much an issue either. It is for zero zero farms. This is a pretty easy map to uh, farm on, too. So now I'm going to try it for some uh, regrow blacks layered with yellow, see if I can get anything here. Eh, it doesn't quite look like it. Oh, but okay. I guess that you got some lives on him. Some more. Was he at 138? All right, cost them 12 lives. So I can leak 11 lives and still be fine. That ain't bad. I'm just sitting here with my two zero zero ninjas. And I'm like, wow, I ain't getting rushed at all. Definitely want to give them more to though in case he sends regent leads. That would be uh, very deadly to me. Uh, getting up another ninja, having it on strong so we can defeat the AI black balloons. And uh, yeah, now he's getting up his own mortar. Yep, <laughs> see how this goes. Even though I'm up 12 lives and he has farms, I would still want to harass him, though. Uh, that's for sure. But I do have to be careful. I have to save up a lot of money right now because that's actually kind of scary amount of farms. He can do a really decent regrow rainbow rush with those. 
Uh, so I'm getting a 3-2 bomb, have a bunch of 0-0 zero, zero ninjas here. I'd upgrade that bomb to 3-0 and do some mortar micro into, uh, to be able to feed that rainbow rush. Uh, hopefully it'd work, but he's not sending one anyways. That's good. I'm just sending a few blue balloons here for a little bit of income, but not too much. And now I'm actually getting a uh, zero zero, a lot of zero zero ninjas actually to defeat ceramics. I don't know if what he has is enough, or if we need a crap ton of them like I have. Sometimes people get a ring of fires by this point too. Oh, what's he doing? Oh no, not a disconnection. That would be bad. My internet is usually uh, pretty bad too, so uh, it'd be bad if I disconnected. Sometimes distant connections can be a loss. It depends on the situation. Uh, that's for sure. And the thing is with this defense, what I should be doing is sending just uh, grouped blacks for income. It's the same, uh, it'll get me the same amount of money as just he'll threaten his uh, defense a lot more. Uh, but I guess I'm not doing that because I'm dumb. So now it's round 17. I should definitely get up a Moab defense because I don't want to be caught in my pants now. And he's just ready to leak some more. Oh, I know why. It's because he sold off a bunch of 0, zero ninjas. Look at that. He's now into 130 lives now. So now I'm just going to send a bunch of uh, group blacks for income. And now he's getting that fourth tier bomb. That's when he needs to defend against the uh, freaking black balloons. So that helped him out quite a bit. I got those uh, bombs and stuff, Moab Maulers, and other stuff. Going to try to spam them all over. Because eventually I'm going to want my whole middle of the screen with Moab Mars, and now he's starting to rush me. Some Regro, Fast Cool, and Regro Ceramics, and some uh, uh, Regro Moab. See, some lives getting through, but how many? If I lose less lives than him, I'm done for, but luckily, only lost 15. That's not too bad at all, and I'm glad he was down to 130, because I'm still up on lives. That's really good, actually, because I can rest a bit more, and it's getting a bit easier and easier to defend, if needed. Because at this point, I mean, Bloon Jitsu is easily viable, uh, I see now, he just got greedy. He sold pretty much everything in order to get a 4th tier banana farm, and he's almost no defense right now. Finally got to a Mo Moab Mars, but it's really late. The balloons are getting really scary far. 4th tier can't quite, can't quite handle it, and that's game. Right there. Taken down. I got loud, I know, because it was exciting. And I got another person with the, uh, that sort of strategy. So now, 2-2. Two -two. All tied up. The comeback could be real, but... We're on a very, very difficult map, which is Indoor Pools, which is, without doubt, the hardest map in the game. And I don't know how good I am at this map. You see, for Game 5, we were originally playing on Battle Park, but then this connection happened. So it's like, eh, I'll change the map. I'm like, okay, it was probably going to be a tie anyways. But it's a shame. I actually wanted to play Battle Park because I could go super aggression and hopefully kill him with lives or something. You know, it'd probably be like, I was hoping for like, 149 to 150, something like that. So now, well, uh, well, where the heck are we now? Uh, <laughs> round two, and we have differing strategies already. Franco's got a tax shader and a ninja. Uh, I got my boat and a ninja. What's better? I don't know, but feeling Franco's going farms again. I ain't got no farms. Did I use farms at all this series? No, I didn't, actually. It's kind of crazy with how many people use farms. I'm deciding not to go farms because I'm just kind of bad when it comes to farms and micros. So I'm doing strategies that involve no farms. And it seems to work out for me, except, you know, why I lost those first two games. So now I'm hoping these last, this last one will go a lot better. And as you can see, I am up on live, so it's going well already. Round four, I'm going crazy with the layering stuff. She's got two little pink monsters down there. Oh, no, another internet problem. God, my internet is just awful. It's not consistent at all, but luckily it didn't disconnect. Ah, uh, that that's less good, I guess. So now he's got those uh textures up, one, two, three, zero, and another two zero, but he's still leaking lives due to my pinks because uh, I'm doing a pretty good job at layering them. As long as a yellow balloon or higher gets through to the ninja monkey, it will not be able to clean it up. So I'm doing good there. Uh, two boats, and now I'm starting to get my own tax shader to do with uh, pinks. And I don't know. I mean, we'll play it by ear. He's not doing any layering or anything. He's just doing income. So I can breathe a bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I did not even realize Frank was down to 93 lives. That's not good at all. Like, yikes. So I'm going to do some even more crazy layering. I'm layering reds, blues, greens. And pinks all over his tax shooters. Make him lose as many lives as possible. He's down past 60. He's got to get a ring of fire now. Just because of how screwed he was right there. 57 lives? 
Yikes. Well, uh-oh. He's trying for a bit of a greens too, but uh, Grape Shot Boats are really good against greens and just clutters of stuff, so I'm able to clean up pretty decently. Leaking a life here and there to Natural Balloons. Not too big a deal, though, as long as I get my uh, Ring of Fire up to 4-1. And there we go. I'm set. Basically the same stuff as him, except one extra boat. Uh, so I have spent a bit more money on defense. Now he's getting to 2-1 Ninja deal with these whites, and he's just slowly, slowly losing more and more lives. 46. Now at this point, the Natural Balloons are going to become more and more dangerous, because those slowly eat away at your lives. They don't do anything too drastic. But it is kind of annoying, I guess, because those lives add up, especially when you're down uh, really far. Uh, like Franco is, he's at 42 right now. 41! All he needs is a couple black balloons to get through and he's screwed. I'm sending him some regrow blacks to get his ninja focusing on those rather than the natural balloons, because that's what I want to kill him. 27 lives now. Do you realize how dangerous you, it is to be on this map with 27 lives? It would be extremely... 26, my bad. It would be extremely easy for Rainbow Reaver Rush to kill him, actually. Hint. Hint. Winky face. Smiley face. So, you may have figured out my strategy. I have a mortar there just for, like, extra pop power possibly, but I can sell a bunch of things right now. Sell all those, send a bunch of Reaver Rainbows, Camel Pinks too, selling that. He's trying to get a texture in the back, and we got him! Hoo-wee! Okay. That series was a lot more intense than it needed to be, but a great one. Thanks for playing Franco10. That was very exciting, and I uh, enjoyed the games. So yeah, 3-2. to two. The comeback is real. I can't believe it happened when I was playing it, but I was relieved that I'm like, gosh, if I get like 3-0'd on my first King of the Hill series, that's just going to be awful. But Franco did pretty good. He's actually a pretty good player for his rank. I think he just didn't quite know how to actually move up in the rankings. I could see him becoming an... Uh, a uh, nobleman, or maybe, uh, what's I called, a vassal? I think that's between nobles and noblemen and peasants. I don't know, that this whole weird ranking system. But it is pretty cool. And yeah, that's about it for this King of the Hill video. I hope you guys all enjoyed, and look forward to more King of the Hill stuff in the future. Catch you all later.